And I was working with back over here, thinking I had it all perimetered, I knew where I was at, and I'd be all right. Well, I scooped the bucket out of there, and I went to dump it over the bank, and there was bone chips in the bucket that I started to, to dump it. And what's going on here? You know, this ain't good. So I jumped out. Well, the first thing in the bucket was a, was a hand claw that goes oh, with that, yeah. that one there. It was laying in the bucket, and I'm like, that's not funny. <laughs> I was just freaking out. I realized that there was a leg in there to go with that claw. My hat went in the air. <laughs> yeah. It's dramatic. We screamed for three days and we came up with these pieces. Uh, I dumped this whole foot over the hill. Oh, wow. And so we screamed for three days and, and found all the pieces to it except for this one. And Marianne went back this spring after all the rain we had and this was laying on the So we got every piece of it. <laughs> and look, look very closely right yeah, yeah. here. It's got a phalanx. Look how massive that fell for a while. And it's got the hyperextension facet here, so this thing can go way back. Uh, and hyper extend back like that. Look at that form. Yeah. Yeah, that's just. Look at that chart. Composite lunate carpal. Two bumps. And there's a third. That belongs to the proximal row. Dang. And that's huge. Compare yeah. that to, to Wyrex. And so much better ossified, absolutely, yeah. This belongs in a different subfamily from T Rex, absolutely. Oh, there it is. Yes! Great big squared off. This is the um, outer shoulder. It's much better developed than T Rex. That's for the subscapulocoracoideus muscle. The neck of this is longer than Sue's neck. But even, even the gastralia are different than T Rex gastralia. Oh, yes. Well, Pete often says this is the most important pair of fossil vertebrates ever found, ever. And I'm a little biased since I named now. <laughs> now look how long the neck is too. It's got this extreme or long neck. Or shallower top to bottom or longer anterior posteriorly. Yep. And underneath the coracoid would be one head of the subcoracoscapularis muscle, which we just learned attaches here. Mm -hmm. This thing would have behaved totally different from T-Rex. Same time, same, same time, time, same place. Yep. In fact, uh, there's some T-Rex specimens that were chewed by Nanotyrannus. You find shed nanotype. Yeah. And when you dig a channel, actually right nearby, you can find shed nano teeth side by side with shed T Rex teeth. Strangely enough, for this size of a critter, nano is more common than T Rex. More, oh, yeah, maybe probably twenty times weight, heavier. Yeah, weight wise, much. And there's a little bit of this dark colored stuff here, which we're pretty sure is going to be going to be some skin. Yeah, skin. Another part of the the deal I, is we got around pretty well had everything perimeter, and I couldn't find that narrow skull. I just was baffled. I could not find it. Where the heck is it? You know, for this, I I came down here, and this this looked like alien to me. I could, you know, the, the pelvic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got to there and I thought, oh, that's attached to the neck. That's, you know, yeah, well, it like right here. You know, yeah. that's what I thought I was seeing. It was right here. Yeah. And I'm just scratching my head and what the heck, you know, where's that skull? Did I already back it out of there? What's going on here, you know? And I'm just driving myself crazy. And, and then it dawned on me. That skull upside down. <laughs> 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 and then I went nuts. You know, my hat went near that day, too. <laughs> I, I started field prepping it with my knife, and I got down here, and, you know, I, I had to just go to another part of the quarry or I had to field prep and go with it. <laughs> right there in my pocket knife. What a lovely face. So long and low. <clears throat> have you, how many theropod um, hyoids have you seen? Oh, about 50. About 50. All the Tarnasaurs <laughs> have. Oh, really? 
most anything like anything most like this. Most have it. I don't know why. Most of them have it. A anything like these hyoids? Boy, um, I have lots and lots of pictures, pictures of a small. Before this guy. Oh, here's the number one, which is kind of cool to see in place. All right. So the argument about where number one is. Or not? <laughs> yeah, or not. Eventually, though, we have the answers there. Probably. <laughs> this, this is really weird. There's the furcula, but but look at this. <laughs> Again, very different from T. Rex furcula. But why is this? Why is this out of place? Notice how this is shattered in here too. Kicked in skull. Yeah. You know why is it crushed like that? Because this is the way it was found in the field. Um, yes, from your <laughs> missile. I don't know. The nano does have a narrow muzzle, not that narrow, but it's a narrow. Yeah. Very narrow. Take a look at the picture. I bet you'll you'll get some ideas. Oh yeah. The yeah. See the foot. Uh -huh. um, this is the. Which one is that? This is part of the nano. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think it kicked it, huh? <laughs> My theory. And the other reason I think that is there were we found a lot of shed teeth mm -hmm. right in between this this skull yeah. and that foot, and I think he kicked him in the face. And mm -hmm. this this it's I, I think what happened is you see where he's the yeah. animal's tail is running between yeah. his tail and his foot. I think that big guy stepped on his tail as he was dying. This guy snapped him, and the other guy kicked him, and. That's when the wall came in. But these bones are broken; they're shattered. It's really yeah, but the nasal, even the nasal, yeah. the nasals—they have really massive nasal on this. I called Chris <laughs> about it, and I told him that we found something pretty cool. You know, he needed. To, well, I said, I think I said it's world class. You got to come see it. And uh, Chris came to the site, and, and it kind of came over the hill, and all you could see was just kind of what that picture sees. Right, right, right. Well, and actually, I had a big blue tarp over the theropod, didn't I? I had yeah. the tarp. He, he didn't even see the tarp. He saw that big foot in, in the tail, and we go down, and you know, we walked all the way around, and we got to the head of the ceratops in, and he looks up at me and says, oh, you're right, this is world class. And I said, come it. here, you got to see something, there's, there's more to this. <laughs> then I put the tarp off, and <laughs> went uphill from there, didn't it? <laughs>
Chemists too. Is that rugosus on the tail, vertebrae, jasmosaurian? Or no, I think that's, that's just, just a, a, just a w yeah. way, way old guy. Yeah, for the for the Hellcrack age, it is new. Yeah, yeah brand new, brand new, brand new, not just species, brand new genus, and oh. and and that and that's that ischium. I mean, you could almost make an argument for a new family, except I'd probably I'd put it into Chasmosauri. It's not Triceratops, it's not Torosaurus, it's a new genus. Here's one cool thing. Here's Centrum, yeah. it goes right here. Oh gosh. And right there is the Nanotooth. <laughs> and then the Ischia back over here. And they're both here. <laughs> doesn't doesn't make a whole lot of sense for a, that I don't know. Um, it's a little out of position, you know, kind of. You have the distal extremities of your of your Oh, yeah, I think that's the same. Yeah. But that's a break. So it was broken in life. And buried. Oh, right after death. But there's absolutely, you know how flat? I'm sure, yeah. And, and making that curve, it's just, it's just weird. Yeah, it doesn't look like a ceratops at Hiskia, but since there's a ceratopsian attached to it. <laughs> Oh, good muscle scars there. Yeah. Yeah, the texture of the bone on this, the preservation is just superb. Massive.